Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. And in this one, I want to quickly go over how you can go about farming bottle caps and all the locations you can go through to get them. Because again, as I've mentioned before, bottle caps are not a finite thing. It is something that in the demo, we believe they might have been, given how they behaved in Stories 1. However, in Monster Hunter Stories 2, there are actually, outside of evidence, multiple ways to obtain these. So, in the event you've now got to endgame and you're of course trying to save up bottle caps so you can buy super rare tickets, or you can buy items from the bottle cap vendor, then this is for you. So if you do find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. But to begin with, of course, the first and most obvious location is one that we would all have encountered, and that is, of course, the Evidence. The Evidence, there are a fixed number of these, and of course, once you have gathered the bottle caps within the Evidence, then those ones are complete. So that is the finite resource, but it is still worth, as you're playing throughout the game, exploring the Evidence. It's a great chance to fight monsters, get eggs, but you'll also get bottle caps in the process. However, outside of that, as you're exploring just random dens, they can be normal dens, they can be high rank dens. I will of course say that the frequency seems a little bit greater in high rank dens, but you do have the chance when opening chests in those dens to occasionally obtain some bottle caps. The numbers can vary, but you can still get them from dens. Following on from there, you then want to turn your attention to quests. It's worth noting that of course some of the quests that you can get from both NPCs or just from the board in general can award you with bottle caps as rewards. One of the most noteworthy ones being the quest that actually has you sort of complete the Monstipedia. This one actually gives you quite a nice amount of bottle caps, but later on even some of the smaller ones will still give you smaller amounts. Those ones are of course not farmable, but they are still things that are worth doing because they can give you a nice big sizable injection of bottle caps. Outside of that, one of the things you'll of course be turning your attention to more so once you get to end game are of course co-op expeditions. Completing these will also give you a chance to get bottle caps, both inside the expeditions and also as post-expedition rewards. I was exploring one of the uh, super rare expeditions the other day with Paradise and we both got a nice amount of bottle caps from the chests. Plus, as you can see, from the reward screen, simply by completing it, which again is something you'll want to do anyway because you'll be farming co-op expeditions for some of those cool Deviant and Elder Eggs, then this again is a nice lucrative source of bottle caps. And then finally, out of that, it is also worth turning your attention to PvP matches. Even if PvP is not your thing, even if you don't win, you will still get bottle caps as rewards. Admittedly, not as many as other things. Co-op expeditions will give you infinitely more. However, if you are playing PvP, whether you win or lose, in the post-match rewards, you will get a few bottle caps. So if you combine all of these together, evidence, random chests inside dens, quests, co-op expeditions, and PvP, you actually have a good source of bottle caps and given that you're going to be using them and spending them quite a bit to dive into super rare stuff, it is 100% going to be worth your time. So in the event that you are on the hunt for them, looking for them, then hopefully this has given you a quick rundown of where you can find them. Any more questions, drop them down below, but otherwise keep it locked for plenty more stories to content. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.